Retail precincts across Australia have gone from bustling to barren. The city is nothing. Retail spending has plummeted with Maya, the latest casualty. The retail giant will shut up shop across the country for at least a month, leaving 10,000 people without work. David Jones says it'll stay open, but its stable of smaller fashion brands, including Country Road and Witchery, will now close too. Cotton On Group also announced today it was closing 670 stores. The retail giants now join Katmandu, Rip Curl, Adairs, Just Jeans, Retail Food Group and Athletes Foot in shutting its stores. Those retailers are very, very concerned about their staff catching the coronavirus from other consumers and most definitely they're very worried about their cash flow. The Retail Association says Maya has been a major fixture on the retail landscape and its closure is a massive blow and there's now a sense that smaller retailers will have to close but many small business owners have told the ABC that they'll stay open until the government tells them to shut. We're fortunate enough that we can still open the doors so we try to make the best of a bad situation. Other businesses are still unsure of how it'll pay rent if it can't open its doors. If like we are going in debt for next six months, it will take a year or so to cover up. But business is booming at supermarkets. Grocery chain Coles has had to hire 7,000 new casuals and it says it needs 5,000 more. They're coming from hospitality, they're coming from tourism, they're coming from the airlines, they're coming from high level customer service industries and they're ready to work and we're ready to make them employed again quickly. They will get it back up and running, but I think if we think that they're going to be up and running quickly when this is over, I think we've got to think again. While there's a glimmer of hope for some in the short term, real recovery may be a long time coming. Elias Kluwer, ABC News, Melbourne.